California State University, Northridge. Hello, and welcome to this short tutorial on CSUN's new virtual software library, or VSL. The VSL provides remote and on-campus access to lab and course software. It can be used with a PC, Mac, Linux, or mobile computing device. The VCL can be accessed via your internet browser. Firefox, IE, or Safari are supported. In your browser address field, type vsl.csun.edu. The login screen displays. Enter your CSUN username and CSUN password. Select the Log On button to launch. The first time you log in, you may be prompted to install the Citrix plugin client. Select the checkbox to agree with the Citrix license agreement. Next, select the Install button. The opening Citrix Online Plugin Executable box displays. Select the Save File button. The Citrix plugin will download. Once the install download completes, select the Continue button. The main window displays showing the application available. Application access is based on your course participation. In this main window, select the application you want to launch. Select the Yes button to allow this remote application to access your files on your computer, U Drive, W Drive, or other file storage places. The application opens and it is ready to use. To open a file, use the File menu Open option. The Open dialog box displays. Locate your file and select the Open button. Be sure to save your work. Work must be saved. Not doing so will result in a loss of data when your session ends. There are a variety of storage options available. The VSL High Speed Storage option is recommended. To save your work, from the File menu, select Save As, select Computer from the left pane, and scroll down to view Network Location. Select the recommended VSL drive, then the Open button. It is important that you log off and close the application and connections properly. Do this by selecting the red X in the upper right corner. You are returned to the main window. Disconnect the session by selecting the Log Off drop-down arrow Disconnect option. You have properly logged off and release the license for the next person to use. Need help? The IT Help Center is ready to help you. Contact them by phone, online, chat, or in person. On the VSL project page, access project information, FAQs, and a user guide. This concludes the VSL tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. Have a great day.